Hi, this is Jens from TC Electronic. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use G-System to change presets on an external MIDI device and also how to use G-System's MIDI mapping functions. We're using the G-System, of course, and then in this example, we're using the TC Electronic G-Mater 2 as an external MIDI device, but it could just as well have been another MIDI unit or a MIDI preamp. The connections are MIDI out from G-System to MIDI in on the external device. The MIDI channel on the external device is the same as on G-System. G-System's default MIDI channel to transmit on is MIDI channel number 1. And I've set the external device to receive on MIDI channel 1. Now the most simple way would be to let the presets on G-System correspond directly to the presets on the external unit. Number 1, tricking number 1, 2 to 2, 3 to 3, and so forth. However, you may want to use just one preset for many G-System sounds on your external device, or you simply want to pick uh, from different locations in your external device. And that what, that's what you can use the G-System MIDI mapping function for. Let's take a look at how it works. We press Edit. We press Menu. Using the page encoder, we select MIDI. And we press Enter, as requested. We use the page encoder to go to the Program Change Out menu where you can select either off meaning nothing is sent no program changes are sent to MIDI out or you can use on where the map is not used but simply one corresponds to one two to two etc or you can use on and map now G systems MIDI map is activated if we use the page encoder once more Turning right, we go to the Program Map menu. And this is where you set up exactly which, which program change should be sent to MIDI out when you recall a preset on G-System. Right now you can see the Program Map says that bank number 001 sends out MIDI 1, MIDI program change number 1. Um, Let's try to change that. So instead of recalling preset number one, when we press number one, we want to recall preset number three. So I select number three. It's as simple as that. So I go to preset number two. Maybe I want to recall number four. I go to preset number three. Let's make it recall number one on the external device. Number four, let's keep that to number four, and maybe number five shouldn't do anything at all. We can also select that by turning counterclockwise and selecting none. Let's see if it works. We press edit to enter, to exit the menu, of course. Now, number one. Number one is selected on G-System, but preset number three is selected on the external device. Number two. Number four, as we entered in the MIDI map. Three, recalls number one. Four, recalls number four. And five should do nothing, exactly as we told it to.